In the world of cycling, one is becoming more than just a number. To understand more about One Pro Cycling, it's helpful to learn a little about the man behind it. For just about any sports person, finding a new focus in life after retirement can be a struggle. Luckily, former England cricket wicketkeeper Matt Pryor had cycling. Actually, it was the wicketkeeping that led me to cycling because it did so much damage to my Achilles. I was having to find a, another way other than running, um, of staying fit and, and getting rights to, to carry on playing cricket. When my cricket career uh, came to an end due to that injury, actually, that fought, got me on the bike in the first place, um, there was an opportunity to start up One Pro Cycling and try and do something slightly different in, in the world of professional cycling. And I was fascinated by how one sport differs from another and how much transfer there potentially could be from the cricket world to the cycling world. And I was very fortunate to be involved with England cricket in probably one of its most successful years um, from 2009 onwards. And really I've, I've sort of stolen that model of, of what we went through as a team um, and brought that over to One Pro Cycling to see if it does and can be successful in a, in a different sport. And, and so far, um, it's going in the right direction, hopefully. Pryor is a man with a lot of ambition. With his outsider's perspective as well, he wants One Pro Cycling to become something different. In a sport where teams can disappear overnight, establishing a more sustainable model, perhaps similar to that of a football club, is the big aim. And like in football, the fans will be at the heart and soul of it all and be the draw that entices financial backing. It means that the team's success will be judged not just on its number of wins. I think within the world of cycling, a lot of people follow individuals. They follow Chris Froome or Mark Cavendish. But do they follow a team that they are proud of and passionate about? Um, and that was the idea behind it, was creating a team that was for fans, for members, very accessible, very open. Um, and trying to engage with people and giving them a lot, um, a lot more back. From day one, we decided we didn't want to sell title sponsorship. One Pro Cycling will be One Pro Cycling for, for its duration. And I think that's important because we want the team to exist in years to come. We want our riders to have ridden for a team that still exists. And you can build an allegiance and a, a loyalty from a fan base. Since its launch in February 2015, fans have been invited to become formal members of the One Pro team, much like buying a season ticket in other team sports. With the fans so close to everything One Pro Cycling does, the riders have a special part to play, and not just on the bike. Being a professional sportsman is a 24-7 job. It's not just ride your bike six hours hard as you can, get off your bike, jump in a coach and disappear. You know, take that time to socialise with fans, sign a few autographs, on you know, Twitter, social media is such an important part of professional sportsmen's life these days, the accessibility. If someone tweets you saying, well done, it takes 10 seconds to reply and say, thanks a lot, keep supporting us. But you'll have a fan for life. For a British team aiming to attract undivided support and loyalty, particularly of British fans, there's a potential rival to contend with. With Team Sky having delivered success in Britain over the last few seasons, there could be competition. We're not out to compete against Team Sky. Team Sky is a completely different animal, and they, I must say, are one of the main reasons I'm involved in cycling, because they set in motion this um, wave of cycling fans and, and momentum within the UK from a cycling point of view with, through all their success. Without shadow of doubt, they're, they're leading the way, but I do think it's important that there are other teams in the UK following behind them or, or pushing them or making sure that there is another team out there that people can support and get behind. And One Pro Cycling could be riding against Team Sky more regularly in the future. Having made the jump in divisions to Pro Continental after just one season, the next step could be the World Tour. Our goal is, obviously with, with um, the UCI reforms as well, it sort of looks like you want to you get in for 2017, which might be a bit sooner than we had first planned, but you know, we, will, we are going 100% you know, to do that. Um, we would love to be a World Tour team in, in 2017. But what we won't do is make the jump if it's too soon. If we won't just do it because 
it looks good. It will, we will do it because it's the right, the right step. For some in the cycling community, the One Pro Dream presents a big challenge to how cycling has always done things. But the man behind it all is encouraging people to embrace the project, saying it may reshape the sport for the better and give it a stronger future. Cycling is a hugely traditional sport and we're massively respectful of that. Cricket is as well, so I, I know how that, how that can be, but it doesn't mean it can't improve. It doesn't mean you can't look at it and do things, look to do things slightly differently. Right, okay, you know, just because that's been done for however many years, doesn't mean we can't adapt it, change it. And, and that, as I say, is on the bike, but probably more importantly, off the bike as well from a, a commercial rationale.